Hey you guys, I hope you're doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Hey you guys, welcome to Lovely News Network and I have this really disturbing story and it's coming from New Jersey, honey, okay? So what's going down is that we have a 65 year old woman. Her name is Donna Roberts and basically she was caught with 41 dead dogs. She had them basically in freezer bags and she had them in her freezer, in her deep freezer. 41 dead dogs, but if that's not the worst of it, she had over 161 alive dogs in her damn home, okay? This entire situation is re dog dickless, okay? It's just disgusting. I want you guys to go ahead and try out this news clip, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Right now, deplorable, inhumane. Those are the terms New Jersey State Police are using tonight to describe conditions more than 200 dogs were living in inside a home in Shemong, Burlington County. Authorities removed 44 dead dead dogs from the home while helping more than 168, uh, 160 other dogs who survived. Our Bruce Gordon's live on the scene. Bruce, this was breaking news last night and here we go. So many people wondering why so many dogs there. Yeah, Lucy, this had all the earmarks of an unauthorized breeding operation, but state police would not confirm that. What we know for certain is the dogs were taken out of this home today or in an unbelievable condition. Those dogs were living in a miserable existence, and frankly, some of them did not make it out alive. <laughs> Against a soundtrack of barking dogs, animal welfare workers cradled bedraggled pups waiting for care inside a mobile triage trailer. During a two-day search and raid, assisting the Burlington County Health Department, and prompted by a crackdown by Shemong Township officials, New Jersey State Police verified what neighbors here had long believed. But this unassuming home on Oakshade Road was instead a house of horrors. Your reaction to see this finally Oh, happen. praise the Lord. <laughs> this is awesome. Police removed 44 dead dogs and 161 other pups of varying ages, breeds, and medical conditions, including infections, overgrown nails, matted fur. The Burlington County Prosecutor's Office said 65-year-old Donna Roberts, the resident here, was arrested and charged with animal cruelty. Detective Sergeant Ian Fenkel was not authorized to appear on camera, but described for Fox 29 the sights, sounds, and smells they encountered in the home. The deceased dogs were found individually packaged in plastic and stored in uh, freezer chests throughout the residence. The dogs were found to be uh, both inside and outside, living in their own waste. There's, there's an overwhelming odor in there of animal waste and uh, ammonia. It actually caused some of our troopers to become nauseous and, and dizzy. The dogs removed from this place are on their way to local shelters and to the homes of volunteers willing to adopt or foster them. Salvation after a life of living hell. What goes through your mind when you see this raid today? Justice. Justice for the dogs. Authorities tell us that four of the 161 dogs taken alive from this home are critically ill in need of emergency care. Area shelters are looking for donations of money, supplies, foster homes to help them cope with what is certain to be a massive influx of neglected dogs in this area. Lucy? We've got a compassionate community that I know will step up. Bruce Gordon, thank you much. Honey, when I tell you that story just got my stomach turning. They said before you even entered the house, the house smelled so bad that the emergency responders got sick. The smell of feces and urine was so strong that people couldn't even just, you know, go in there to go do their job without having mask on. And imagine this woman was living in that field. How crazy is that? How do you get used to a smell like that? How do you get used to being around 161 dogs and 41 dead dogs? This woman is sick as hell. When I tell you our mental illness is real, that is not normal. This chick is obviously a few eggs short of a damn dozen. Who the hell just sits there and lives in that type of filth? I mean, I couldn't even watch that show Hoarders because it just used to disgust me. People just living in filth and having animals everywhere and dead cats and, you know, the smell not bothering bothering them I mean this is just really insane and the thing that bothers me is does she not have family did she not work maybe she was retired but did nobody ever go to her home did nobody ever like you know hear these dogs barking 161 dogs I got neighbors with two dogs and I'd be like shut your damn dog up she had 161 how loud was her house 
Nobody saw this? This to me is just insane. And another damn thing, where did this bitch find all these damn dogs? I mean, was she just kidnapping dogs in the neighborhood? How do you find 161 dogs? Was she going to the pound repeatedly? Where did these dogs come from? Nobody's even stating the obvious. You know, okay, fine, there's 41 dead dogs, but where the hell did she find 161? Are all the dogs in New Jersey missing because they're in this bitch's house? I mean, this shit makes no damn sense. She really is the queen bitch, okay? She's the damn queen of female dogs, a damn bitch. <laughs> Just sitting here kidnapping dogs and taking dogs, not feeding them, barely giving them water. Dogs are dying and you're just storing them in your house. This is some sick ass shit. I'm done with this damn story. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire nasty ass story coming from damn New Jersey. We technically don't have a name for New Jersey, but I'm sure y'all would think of something in the comment section. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.